The client for a large tech center office park has decided to go with a multiple prime construction delivery method. One contractor will be responsible for the shell and core of the three phase one uh, of the three phase one buildings. A second contractor will be responsible for the interior lab work, and a third contractor will be responsible for the site design and civil infrastructure. What is the architect's chief concern? Standard of care, instruments of service, regular meetings for quality communication, uh, system of retainage for payouts to cover multi-party complications. Um, D is actually not a bad answer, but that's not the one that uh, that I would go with. Uh, standard of care, uh, you're always concerned about the standard of care. Standard of care is uh, essentially it's what you're um, saying you will do when you sign a contract. And the standard of care is uh, did you do the work uh, in a way that was the same or similar as what other reasonable architects doing this similar kind of project in a similar location, how they would have approached it. And the idea there is like, how would you know whether somebody's done a good job? Like, is it competent or not? Is essentially what the standard of care is. And by signing those contracts, you're saying, yes, we're gonna do a competent job and we, we are promising you that it will be competent. Um, so standard of care is gonna always be the case. And so it's kind of a background thing and not really appropriate. Uh, instruments of service we already talked about doesn't really apply to this situation. It's that uh, uh, sort of all the work that you do as sort of billable hours. So the answer here is going to be C, which is regular meetings for quality communication. Now that might sound a little like really that seems sort of like small potatoes out of all of these different choices. Uh, but think about it. This is multiple prime, right? What that means is there's not one GC, there's not one contractor in charge. There are multiple, what are effectively GCs, but they're separate ones. And so since there's multiples, you can't call them general contractors because there's more than one, there's not a general. Uh, and so there are multiple prime contractors. Well, where exactly is the line between the lab work and the shell and core work? Like it can be a little complicated, right? Like is the drywall part of the lab or is the drywall part of the uh, shell and core? Like, you know, it can go a couple different ways. Is the walkway up to the front door part of the site plan or is that part of the shell and core? Like the idea of where those lines are becomes very complicated. And whenever you're doing a multiple prime, it's going to be about communication. So C is the answer. And I have this one in here specifically uh, because it's a you know, good way to start thinking about other systems other than just design, bid, build, you know, in this case, multiple prime. But also there's always going to be a pressure on the exam for you to answer things like regular meetings, doing meeting minutes, design logs, things that are sort of the standard core of how you keep control of information uh, and uh, make a project move forward. And especially in something like practice management, kind of understanding how that plays a role in how you put projects together.